Okay, I'm back. Had a little uh, running with the family, you know, things happen. So let's get back to it. Back to point oh five on my Micron pin that I got from uh, Wish. And here we go, back into the drawing. There we go. Alright, so, um, let me see, what, what can I talk about while I'm inking? So, yeah, I just usually zone out when I ink, but uh, I've got to learn to uh, kind of tell you guys what I'm doing, huh? So this scene um, is a little, what's going on in this scene is that, uh, Pele is coming up to Peter and she's saying, um, we gotta get going. I'm starting to run out of heat and, uh, cause they're in the Arctic right now. So, um, yeah, they gotta get, gotta get back to warmer places, right? Can't be hanging out in the Arctic if you're a creature that turns into lava. Okay, so yeah, as you know, um, or you might not know, Pele is in the Hawaiian mythology, and uh, she is a volcano goddess, mostly known for uh, taking care of the islands, making sure they're healthy and whatnot, I think. Um, well, more or less. Alright, there's one panel done. Now I should upgrade to a little thicker. This is point eight. Let's see what that does. That's a little wide. How much, what's that con in contrast to that? Okay, I'm going to go with this. Point eight micron from Pigma pens that uh, I got from Wish. So you... As you might know, I have a tendency to order things from Wish because they're cheap. I can I have the patience to wait for them, so that's not a problem. Usually, they get stuck in uh, shipping limbo for a very long time. There we go. There's a good peeling. Get that finger in there. Or I ink her chin. Yeah, what was I talking about? As you may know, um, I'm kind of into backing things on Kickstarter. So I'm going to tell you about a couple of the things that I do back while I'm drawing. Might as well, right? So something you should check out on Kickstarter right now is a comic called Duplicant. One through three. I already have issues one and two of that. I haven't read them yet. They are still in my read pile, but. I will be getting to them soon, I'm sure. So the duplicate is about a future where uh, they're cloning bodies for organs. And uh, people with cloned organs in them are kind of a second grade citizen, so 
That's what this story is about, is how they're treated differently. There we go. That's good. Let's see, I think I found this post for Pele uh, on social media, but since I think it was Instagram, and since my uh, Instagram got deleted, I can't tell you the credit for that because I don't know right now, not without an opportunity to look it up. So sorry about that. If you recognize this pose or whatnot, then you can tell me and say, hey, I want some credit. If not, I'm sorry about that. Oh, maybe I should have used a lighter pen for the fire. So yeah, check out the duplicate on Kickstarter right now. It is going until July 10th, so you've got some time on that one, but don't let it pass you by. There goes some fire. That's going to be so fun to color. So as you know, I scan these in and I color them on my computer. And I'm going to be trying out something that I've never done before when I go to shade it. So I will be showing you that in a couple seconds as soon as I finish this last panel on this page. So stay tuned for that. Finish up that. Get a little hip here. Belly button. And some more fire. And Paley is done. So yeah, I don't know. I can't remember right now where the word balloons are going to go. But they'll go right here where she's uh, telling Peter that she needs to get her clothes soon. this scene he uh, pulls some out of his pockets because his powers are that he uh, can teleport through shadows and that even means the shadows in his pockets are open doors to his closet or her closet either or and so he just reaches in his pockets pulls out some clothes of hers from her closet and they're ready to go. Alright, so let's draw some hands. Doo -doo -doo. And a red narb shirt. You probably have seen me in my videos wearing this red narb shirt. Because I use, uh, actual clothes on my characters so if it exists on the characters it's either a shirt I have my wife has or my kids have yep. all the clothing on this actually exists or it's a shirt that I make at my Redbubble which that's how I got my uh, rent art shirt is it's my own design and I make them on my Redbubble I am my best customer on that Redbubble stuff uh, every time I make a rent art shirt, I'm going to buy it. There we go. Let's go back in there with the point eight micron. Push up the bottom of his shirt here. Belt loops. And jeans. Back when I used to color with colored pencil, uh, I would place my uh, paper <coughs> on sidewalk to get a texture for the jeans. Maybe that's something I should revisit, like by uh, scanning that texture in of the colored pencil on sidewalk and just using it 
as a texture sometimes. All right. I actually posed for these pictures right here of uh, Peter reaching into his pockets and pulling out the clothes. Let's see here. Shoot, I actually forgot what clothes that she has though, so I'll have to figure that out for the panel where I draw her in the clothes. Maybe where it's so loose right now, I could just pick out a whole new outfit since I forgot and keep that in the file somewhere. So there's Peter reaching into his pockets. Oh yeah, back to the Kickstarters. Um, Babylon Working number two is one that I've backed recently also. Um, I don't have the full details up right now, just that it's going to end on July 16th. So we'll get on that one before that. I think Babylon Working is from the same pe people that bring you um, Goth Ghost Girl and uh, let's see, what's the other one? Yeah, Goth Ghost Girl and uh, Battle Royale Planet. I think that's the same group of people that do that one. Another one I'm backing is Minx Cyberpunk. It is from a Molly Schofield that uh, did Mutant Chasers a while back that I backed. And so I backed that one based on that I'm familiar with the people that are making it. Hopefully it's good. I don't know what um, happened with the Mutant Chasers. I think I've got two issues of that, but I don't know if any others have come out. Not sure. I've been following um, those people for the reason to find out whether or not it's coming out, but I might have not had the money when it happened. I don't. I'll have to look into that one. See what's going on. All right. check out uh, Maybe Someday on Kickstarter. It ends on July 2nd. It is an anthology where uh, meaning that a bunch of people and writers and artists all write different stories following the same topic. And it Maybe Someday is from the same people that did um, All We Ever Wanted, which I didn't get a chance to back on Kickstarter the first go around but they're offering it as a reward in this one, so I'm going to get it this time. So, let's see here. Still drawing Peters. There's three panels of Peter here that I'm drawing, so bear with me on that one. And as soon as I'm done inking this page, I'm going to be camping out in the yard with my boys. They've been waiting for a warm enough day that we could sleep outside without being cold, really, so uh, they like that. And next up in the Kickstarters is Miss Kahanic Thai, Miss Katonic Thai 7 by uh, Mike Shea and Ryan Mendoza. 
I am a big fan of the Miskatonics. So if you um, are familiar with me, you know I've talked about it a little bit. Miskatonic High is about a bunch of teenagers in detention and they uh, <clears throat> they ended up in an alternate dimension for a little while and uh, witnessed a, a ritual going on and stopped it. Let's see here. Focus on my inking for a second. Okay, so yeah, uh, I just barely backed the uh, trade volume of Miskatonic High, even though I had the singles. What's up, Johnny? My cherry pie. You don't need a cherry pie right now. You're swimming. Go swim, okay? Okay, we're not doing that right now. Go swim. Go, go swim. Sorry about that, guys. That's my boy Johnny. He's a very good listener. Um, let's see here. I'm inking uh, Pele right now, Johnny. See that? It's for my comic book. You're making a comic book? Yep. Well, no, I just like making videos. Yeah, well, I'll let you make a video after this, okay? Oh, okay, go swim. Alright, yeah, that was my boy Johnny. He's uh, six years old. He wants to be a YouTuber. Don't know where he gets that idea from. Just kidding. Alright, drawing Tinkerbell here. <coughs> so this Pele is behind a wall of ice right now. That's how I decided to do that part. I figured she'd just walk behind a wall of ice and change. I'm going to make that a clear layer that you can see through in the final current in the coloring stage, I mean. And let's see, most of these characters' feet go off the page. Alright, let's see here. What am I doing? Using some ice stalactites here. And what other kickstarts are going on? So Miskatonic High, very cool storyline. Check that one out for me. Uh, those guys have been really awesome. They even backed me. I just had a Kickstarter wrap up for my uh, pins, and they were in on that one. 
so that was cool of them to uh, back me. A lot of people that I'm big fans of backed me on that one, so it was really cool to be backed by people that I like. Um, people like uh, Charlie Stickney, who does White Ash. I'm a big fan of White Ash. It's got it's a story about uh, dwarves and elves, and kind of a little race war against each other, but they've always protected this little town of White Ash from kind of a, a hellmouth thing going on, like in Buffy. And, uh, so yeah, it's their job to, uh, protect the town and the opening. There's Maui's little fish hook that he wears. very tiny version of all these characters right now. Necklace on Maui, so draw on that. his tattoos where he's so small right now. They might just get lost in the details. His arm is kind of over him a little bit. Gwen is my vampire slayer. She uh, came after Peter to kill him, but then Things changed. Um, check out Super Scouts issue two on Kickstarter. It is one about um, it's kind of a uh, Galaxy Quest vibe where these actors suddenly find out the the superhero show they were on was real and that they actually do have powers and they have to save the world from a threat. Ooh, I think I watched this piece up. Nope. It's just getting hard to tell what's going on here. There we go. Gwen, Vampire Slayer. So, Super Scouts, check that out. It ends on June 16th. Check out Hollowed, Issues 1 and 2. That goes till June 27th. It's about uh, some detectives, I think. Sorry. Don't have the details on that right on hand. Kind of hard to focus too on drawing and talking about that. Um, yeah, so that's my character Gwen. Put a G down here so I know who is who. So my character Gwen after. She uh, she becomes a vampire and sprouts out some wings in this issue even so whoops spoiler alert sorry about that hope that's not too big of a spoil. Maui. Maui is the Hawaiian sun god who uh, is basically Superman in Hawaii. He uh, 
He is super strong, can heal from almost anything, and uh, he used his magic fish hook to pull the islands up in the sea. So that's why there is a Hawaii in the first place. Good old Maui. Another wing right here. That's Gwen's other wing. Sound effects included. Okay, now some tiny Wendy's. Wendy has the power to clone. Uh, it's kind of my favorite superpower cloning, uh, like the Multiple Man. I don't know if you're familiar with the Multiple Man. He's from the X Factor X Men universe. So, yep. My Wendy, uh, Peter Pan's wife, has the power to clone. And uh, just because it's my favorite superpower, and I couldn't think of what else to uh, give her as her powers, being as how in the main stories of Peter Pan, she kind of takes on a lot of personas in that storyline. She uh, is sort of like a girlfriend to uh, Peter, but then she's also sort of a mother figure to the Lost Boys. And so I figured maybe that's her power, is that she's... or that's her storyline, is that she takes on all these different characteristics for people. So it made sense to me to make her be able to teleport, or not teleport, self-clone, to fill out all these different roles. So, and when she clones, it's kind of like a webbing-like appealness. Uh, she splits off into a bunch of fibers that form into other Wendy's. So, yep. going on here. A lot of... webbiness and cloning. And she's wearing some capris, so let's end her shorts right there. how to do these shows, really. Uh, so, this is a learning experience for me. Someday I'll figure this out. So, Wendy, yes, is a cloner. And she is married to Peter Pan. I've got a lot of surprises planned for them in the stories that I make in the future, so can't wait to get that far. Uh, there are three Wendy's in this panel. These two over here that are reabsorbing each other. And then this one over here by Peter, which I'm going to switch to a thicker pen to draw. I think this is just a loose outline of her right now, which I will probably switch it over to negative in the scanned version. So these squiggles that I'm drawing right now will actually be highlights in the actual finished product. here to the collar of his shirt. And I think 
think we've almost got it. And there we go. All right, Peter. So I know who that is. Wendy, one. And by the time I get to Dallas, is another comic from Kickstarter that you should know about. And I think that rounds out to all of them that I'm back in. By the time I get to Dallas is about a mass migration of a bunch of people going to one specific spot, even at the cost of their own lives, their own or other people's lives, whatever. And it's kind of like an, a, a pandemic. So there's a doctor that he makes it his goal to find out why this is happening. And it sounded interesting the first time it came around. It's another one that I backed this time as a second chance. So I'm glad I was able to spot it again and get in on board with that one. Let's see there. One more wrinkle in the shirt. And there is another page. I'm going to slap my initials in here. And I'll put a 20 for 2020. That probably won't even show up because the page looks like it gets cut off right across there anyway. But if I ever resell the page, Somebody will have my signature on it. Pretty much that. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop here because it is very bright in here. And the next part I'm going to do is going to involve a light table. So I will do this at another time. Okay. I'm going to put this sheet on top of here and I'm going to put in the shadows as a whole different layer in my Photoshop. This is a Copic Gray marker, so I'm going to use it for shading. It's got a brush tip on one and a level tip on the other side. So that should be fun. This side, this page looks done. And I'm going to go swimming with my boys now and have a little camping night out with them. So thank you for watching, and I will see you at another time.